on here. What an electrician needs to know. Today, we're out in the sun. I wanted to show you a rope and some knots. Uh, it's a simple knot. I use it for about everything uh, from tying off loads to tying off ladders. Now, a lot of guys will use a piece of Romex to tie off a ladder, but you can only use Romex a couple of times and then you can't trust it anymore so then you have to cut off another piece so that's why i've always used ropes now i have an 18 a 12 footer an 18 footer and a 30 footer in the truck pretty much all the time uh, i tie off the ladder with my 12 foot rope the uh the end of the rope has got a loop in it it's a granny knot so all three all three ropes have granny knots just over and around and in all three le all three ropes you can tie that simple granny knot you can always get your hand in the loop and if I was gonna swing uh, we'll put a body on the end of this um, this is called a dead horse I would put a knot in the dead horse that j would jam up against this knot so to lock that dead horse and this is called the life or the live line so a live line a dead horse okay so i'm going to take this back out i'll show you how simple this is now the more you use it the tighter it becomes i take this back out um, i'll show you how to tie off a ladder now pretty simple and pretty easy now you, you've got a loop at the end of this. See how tight that loop became over the years? It's rock solid. It's never going to go anywhere. Okay, now I lasso all my loads. Just bring it up like that and you have a lasso. Okay, so we're going to lasso. We're going to lasso this ladder. We'll get rid of this piece of steel right now. We're going to lasso the ladder against the rail now. I have have one bar, uh, one half rack. A lot of guys have a full rack. You can do the same thing with a full rack as you can a half rack. Except this one needs to be tied down so the end stays in the truck. So we loop it around the rungs. Okay, now this is your knot. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I go around my hand, I twist it twice, and I bring that in. Now, if you twist it once and bring it in, it locks up after two or three uses, and you won't be able to get it out. If you twist it twice and bring it around, and I'll do that again. See how long that is? It's completely loose. We'll do it one more time. Around. We twist it once, twist it twice, and go in like this. Nice and long. Now the reason I have this down here is so you can see it. So normally I would, I would tie it up here, short. Much like that. and then pull it tight. The lasso, really tight. The rungs, really tight. Now I pinch it off, pretty tight. I go under, over, and run it up against the knot, the loop. And then I loop, grab the loop, and pull it tight. Okay, that's locking it. And pretty much pick up the truck with it. Now, if you have conduit or something that you need to use, all you need is a little loop over the conduit to keep it in the truck. So, grab, grab your loop, do the same knot, pull nice and tight, over and around like that. Tighten it up. Grab your loop. Okay. Your load is secure. Your ladder is secure. And it only takes 
it takes very little time to get that done. Now, to undo it, it's really, really super simple. You undo your lock, that loop is gone. Undo this lock, that is gone. This comes out and just falls out, you don't have to pull it hardly. And then you take your lasso off, and your ladders are free. And the same way going back, it takes very little time to get them back and it's very secure. So I hope you guys could see that uh, knot and uh, practice it a little bit and it's a really good knot. Thanks for watching. Bye.